to my channel if you're new here you're absolutely welcome my name is Anemi and I love to make amazing food recipes so today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect basmati fried rice you know how basmati rice is if you don't cook it well it becomes soggy it becomes pete pete so today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect one very delicious and also easy to prepare if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you even doing please please click the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and also leave a comment let's get right into this recipe all the ingredients i'll use will be in the description box down below so i'm going to start with hot water i just put in salt and curry powder i'm going to add my rice and i'll cook it until it is 70 percent cooked then i'm going to rinse it off and set aside the curry is to give it that fried rice color so i'm just going to wash it with cold water and i'll set it aside So now in my pot, I'm just going to add my ginger and garlic, my minced ginger and garlic. Then I'm going to add my chopped onion and I'm going to fry it for about one minute. So all the flavors just come together. Now I'm adding a bit of curry and thyme, just a bit like a teaspoon each. Day. I'm going to add my green beans and my carrots and I'm going to stir that in. For about a minute to now I'm adding my red bell pepper and my green bell pepper and I'm going to stir that as well so now I'm just going to add some seasoning I'm not going to add too much and I'm going to add my butter just to elevate the flavors I'm not adding a lot of seasoning because I'm going to add chicken stock and you already have seasoning. Well, after that, I can still taste to check for seasoning. Then I'm adding my chicken stock. I'm adding some cameroon pepper because I like it hot and spicy, you know. So now I'm just adding my rice, the rice that I cooked for um, until 70%. And I'm going to cook this. I'm going to stir this first and I'm going to cook this on very low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes, guys. You want the heat to be very low because it's the steam that will actually cook the rice. So it's about 20 minutes now, and I'm going to check on the rice. It is soft and it is not soggy. You can see every grain of rice. That's how you want your fried rice to be. So I'm going to add sweet corn and spring onion and I'm going to put off the heat. And our rice is ready basically this is how it looks non soggy you can see every grain of rice has a lot of flavors taste amazing i hope you enjoyed this recipe thank you for watching and i'm going to see you in my next video bye